Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim In today's lecture I will discuss physiology of the mature sperm Sperm anatomy Each spermatozoa is composed of a head and a tail The head comprises the condensed nucleus of the cell Nuclear DNA does not appear in free linear strand It forms around the nuclear protein in order to fit inside the nucleus with only a thin cytoplasmic and cell membrane layer around its surface this is its head and it has a condensed nucleus and a thin membrane around the nucleus on the outside of the anterior two, two third of the head is a thick cap called the acrosome that is formed mainly from the golgi apparatus this is two third of the head and it is formed from the golgi apparatus and is called acrosome this contain a number of enzymes similar to those found in lysosome of the typical cell including hyaluronidase which can digest proteoglycan filament of tissue and powerful proteolytic enzyme which can digest protein so it is a digestive enzyme in nature these enzymes play an important role in allowing the sperm to enter the ovum and fertilize it tail of the sperm also called the flagellum has three major components a central skeletal constructed of 11 microtubule collective called the axoneme the structure of this is similar to that of cilia found on the surface of other type of cell a thin cell membrane called the axoneme and a collection of micro mitochondria surrounding the axoneme in proximal portion of the tail called the body of the tail movement of the tail back and fourth moment of the tail which is called flagellar moment provide motility of the sperm the energy for this process is supplied in ad adenosine triphosphate that is synthesized by the mitochondria in the body of the tail normal sperm move in fluid media at a velocity of 1 to 4 mm per minute this allow the sperm to move through the female genital tract in quest of ovum here you can see the movements of sperm and it is due to the movement of flagellum and the energy is supplied by the mitochondria which contain adenosine triphosphate physiology of the mature sperm the activity of sperm is greatly enhanced in natural and slightly alkaline medium as exists in the ejaculated semen but it is greatly depressed in a mild mildly acidic medium a strong acidic medium can cause rapid death of the sperm the activity of sperm increase markedly with increased temperature but so does the rate of metabolism cause the life of the sperm to be considerably shortened lab expectancy of ejaculated sperm in the female genital tract is only 1 to 2 days storage and maturation of sperm the two testes of the human adult form up to 120 million sperm each day a small quantity of these can be stored in the epididymis but most are stored in the vas deferens they can remain stored maintaining their fertility for at least a month after ejaculation the sperm become motile and they also become capable of fertilizing the ovum a process called maturation the sertori cell and the epithelium of the epididymis secrete a special nutrient fluid that is ejaculated along the sperm This fluid contain hormone including both testosterone and estrogen enzyme and specially nutrients that are that are essential for sperm maturation function of the prostaglandin the prostaglandin are believed to aid fertilization in two ways by reacting with the female cervical mucus to make it more receptive to sperm movement and by possibly causing backward reverse 
peristaltic contraction in the uterus and Laufian tube to move the ejaculated sperm towards the ovaries. A few sperm reach the upper end of the Laufian tube within 5 minutes. Composition of semen. Semen is composed of the fluid and sperm from the vas deferens. 10% of the total fluid from the seminal vesicle, vesicles, 60% fluid from the prostate gland and small amount from the mucous gland, especially the bulbo-urethral gland. The average pH of semen is about 7.5. Semen pH, the alkaline prostatic fluid neutralizes the mild acidity of the semen, which is 7.5. Color the prostatic fluid gives the semen a milky appearance. Consistency, fluid from the seminal vesicle and mucous gland give the semen a mucoid consistency. Clotting enzyme, pepperonogen from a weak pebrine coagulum that holds the semen in the deeper region of the vagina where the uterine cervix lies. Lifespan, sperm loop are many weak in the male genital tract once ejaculated in the semen their maximum lifespan is only 24 to 48 hours at body temperature. At lower temperature, however, semen can be stored for several weeks. And when frozen at temperature below minus 100 degrees centigrade, sperm have been preserved for years. Capacitation. Spermatozoa are said to be mature when they leave the epididymis. Their activity is held in check by multiple inhibitory factors secreted by the genital duct epithelia. When first expelled in the semen, they are unable to fertilize the ovum. Contact with the fluid of the female genital tract activates the sperm for fertilization. These collective changes are called capacitation of the spermatozoa. This normally requires from 1 to 10 hours. Penetration of the ovum. The uterine and fallopian tube fluid wash away the various inhibitory factors that suppress sperm activity in the male genital, male genital duct. Remain in the fluid of the male genital duct. Spermatozoa are exposed to vesicle contain cholesterol. This cholesterol is added to acrosome, toughening this membrane and preventing releasing of its enzyme. Calcium enters the sperm, changing the activity of flagellum, give it a powerful vegetable moment in contrast to its weak undulating motions. In addition, the calcium ion cause change in the cellular membrane of acrosome. The acrosome releases its enzyme as the sperm penetrate the granulosa cell zona pellucida of the ovum itself. Acrosome enzyme, acrosome reaction and penetration of the ovum. Acrosome contain large quantity of hyaluronidase and proteolytic enzyme. Hyaluronidase depolarize the hyaluronic acid in the intercellular semen that hold the ovarian granulosa cell together and hyaluronidase actually split this hyaluronic acid and make a way through these cells. Hyaluronidase is especially important in opening pathway between the granulosa cells so that the sperm can reach the ovum. Proteolytic enzyme digests protein in the structure element of tissue cell that still adhere to the ovum. Acrosome reaction. Within minutes, these enzymes open a penetrating pathway for passing of sperm head through the zona pellucida to the inside of the ovum. Acrosome reaction. Within another 30 minutes, the cell membrane of the sperm head and the oocyte fuse with each other to form a single cell. When the Sperm enter the worm, the tail remain behind and the sperm head and the oocyte fuse with each other and form a single cell. At the same time, the genetic material of the sperm and the oocyte combine to form a complete new cell genome containing equal number of chromosomes and genes from mother and father.
Why does one sperm enter the oocyte within a few minutes after the first sperm penetrate the zona pellucida of the ovum? Calcium ion diffuse inward through the oocyte membrane and cause multiple cortical granules by exocytosis from the oocyte around this membrane and prevent further entry of any other sperm into the oocyte. These granules contain substances that permeate all protein of the zona pellucida and prevent binding of additional sperm. Abnormal spermatogenesis in men fertility. The seminiparous tubule epithelium can be destroyed by a number of diseases. Bilateral orchitis of the testes resulting from mom's cause sterility in some affected male. Also some male infant are born with degenerated tubular epithelia as a result of structure in the genital duct or other abnormality. Finally, an other cause of sterility is excessive temperature of the testes. Effect of temperature on spermatogenesis. Increase the temperature of the testes can prevent spermatogenesis by causing degeneration of most cell of the seminiparous tubule beside the spermatogonia. It has been it has often been stated that the reason the testes are located in dangling swinging scrotum is to maintain the temperature of these gland below the internal temperature of the body although usually only about 2 centigrade below the internal temperature whole days Scrotal reflex cause the musculature of the scrotum to contract. Pull the testes close to the body to maintain this 2 degree differential. Thus the scrotum therefore act as a cooling mechanism for the testes control cooling without which spermatogenesis might be deficient during hot weather. Cryptocardism. Cryptocardism means failure of testes to descend from the abdomen into the scrotum at or near the time of birth of a fetus. Testes are derived from the genital ridge in the abdomen. Three weeks to one month before birth of the baby, the testes normally descend through the inguinal canal into the scrotum. Occasionally, this descent does not occur or occur incompletely so that one or both testes remain in abdomen in the inguinal canal or elsewhere along the route of descent. Adverse effect of cryptocrite. The testes that remain throughout life in the abdominal cavity is incapable of forming sperm. The tubular epithelium become degenerate leaving only the interstitial structure of the testes. It is just because due to high temperature. High temperature in the abdomen cause this degeneration of the tubular epithelium and consequently sterility. Operation to relocate the cryptorchite testes from the abdominal cavity into the scrotum before the beginning of the adult sexual life are frequently performed on boy, boys who have undescendant testes. These are the various positions where the testes can be found when they are undescended into the its original position, the scrotum. The true positions are abdominal, inguinal and suprascrotal. And ectopic positions are prepenial, superficial, ectopic, transverse, scrotal, femoral and perineal. These are the various positions where the testes can be found. Effect of sperm count on fertility. The average quantity of semen ejaculated during each quiesis is about 3.5 milliliter. Each milliliter of semen have about 120 million sperm in normal male. Vary from 35 million to 200 million. 400 million sperms are present in each ejaculation. When the number of sperm in each milliliter pulse below about 20 million, the person is likely to be infertile. 
Thus, even though only a single sperm is necessary to fertilize the ovum, for reasons not understood, the ejaculated usually must contain tremendous number of sperm for only one sperm to fertilize the ovum. Effect of sperm morphology and mortality on fertility. A man has a normal number of sperm but is still infertile. When this occurs sometime, as many as one half the sperm are found to be abnormal physically having two heads abnormally shaped head or abnormal tail the shape may be abnormal or the tail may be this is the normal shape head at other time the sperm appear to be structurally normal but for reason not understood they are either entirely non-motile or relatively non-motile. A decrease in motility also leads into infertility. Whenever the majority of the sperm are morphologically abnormal or are non-motile, the person is likely to be infertile even though the remainder of the sperm appear to be normal. And there is abnormality in the majority of sperm it leads to infertility. Thank you. See you in the next lecture.